Okay, so this is just a little magnifying glass I got off of Amazon. This is going to be terrible, guys. I have no idea where the camera is when I'm not looking at the little screen. And if I turn the magnifying glass so you can see, that I can't see. Yeah, you guys can't see anything. Maybe I'll put this like this for you guys. And I'll just have to go naked eye. So now I'm just gonna go <clears throat> line by line and check every pin. Actually, I'm gonna work on a few that I can see are bad first. So the story behind this is my cousin ordered this from somewhere and I didn't ask him where but he said it came with bent pins in the socket and they wouldn't let him return it is really crappy to receive a damaged product and then have the blame for the damage put on you considering or assuming you know that it, it did come that way this socket, like I said, I worked on it before and just a little bit, but I didn't have the magnifying glass and I'm not using it now so that you can see a little better. So that's stupid, but I strained out a lot of them. Oh, I was saying it wasn't just like a few bent pins in one spot, like someone dropped the processor uh, trying to install it, there was bent pins everywhere. I mean, they're still, I can't get them perfectly. I mean, they look like they're going to make contact with the pads in the right spot, but you can see based off of the reflections off the pins that there's some slight variation. I'm going to continue at this for a while and then we'll come back. Okay, so saw someone suggest using the phone. I have a decent phone here. And that, if you can see the edge of the screen there, is working a lot better than a magnifying glass. Okay, so what I'm going to do here now is... I have a donor build over here, an HTPC of mine, that has an 8100 in it, and my thought process is to, before it's powered on or anything, insert this into the socket and clamp it down and see if that clamping force helps kind of align everything. Okay. Right, just seeing if there's any change. Yeah. 
I don't know if it's just my imagination, but it does look a little better. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go over it very thoroughly before I set up the chat post. Couple sticks of vengeance, DDR4. Oh, let's give it a try. Lights, that's good. I kicked off again. Hey. All right, we're in bias. Okay. I'm going to get a drive in here and take it all the way into Windows. Here we are. In Windows, let's see what I have on this drive. So I have CPU-Z on here. Check it against what, checking the processor right now to make sure there's nothing going on because there were so many bent pins I'm going to just Google an average CPU Z core uh, score for <clears throat> Intel Core i3 8100. 1695. But this is at 3.7 gigahertz. 3.706 gigahertz. That's not what we're going to be at. I don't know why that's like that. Base clock overclock should be 3.6. All right, so let's bench it. 1660 compared to their whatever I said, 1695 at 3.7, so we're getting 1655 at 3.6. That seems good. We'll just go get Cinebench. Make sure there's no crap running in the background. There is not. Okay, go ahead and run the CPU test. Looking at 566 here. 600, so between 550 and 600 is where I'm expecting it to fall. Four forty-three. That is not good. 
Okay. I'll have to double check. Not good based off my initial just Google on what other people were getting. I just ran it again without changing anything and scored a 597. So my guess is something, I mean, some Windows process was going on during that first run. We can run again for, you know, the purposes of proof. Focus. There we go, 597. 597. We can do one more quick run. Oh man. 596. So it's working fine. <clears throat> and uh, that's it. Okay, so that's it. Uh, or is gaming five from my cousin repaired he planned on building his own gaming computer and he got that he had all his parts he got to that putting the processor in and saw that all the pins were bent and wherever he bought it from wouldn't take the motherboard back so he ended up giving up and just buying a pre-built system which is working out for him and that's great but it sucks that he couldn't get his money back for this motherboard so <clears throat> with a pair of iFixit tweezers or any small tweezers I mean these are really fine and a magnifying glass which I didn't really use but if you require it for your eyes then I would suggest getting one. This was ten dollars on Amazon and it's cool, it has lights, it's an actual glass lens, not just plastic, 10 bucks. And I was able to save a motherboard that's currently going for about $200. And that's back to life, so thank you for watching. This is my first little go at this. Sorry about bad camera angles and all that. Pretty much, sorry about all your complaints, it's gonna be a work in progress. And I'm thinking about getting a GoPro and mounting it like underneath that where the lights are there because I could get a really good vertical top down shot on anything like that. But uh, my content that I plan on uploading is not gonna be only things like that. Um, some case modding. That's my baby back there, going to mess with the loop in it and put that up and do a few PC builds and maybe some gaming, gaming stuff, uh, benchmarking. So look forward to that in the future and thank you for watching. Bye.